there you are. One moment. Uh, Wolfgang, what if I told you about leaving your Peter Chris CDs in my player? Anyway, welcome to uh, part four of the Quadrilogy. Uh, the reason I know it's called the Quadrilogy is because I, I have the Alien box set, which is quite a useful little, uh, little thing there. But uh, today we're going to do the fourth t-shirt in the trilogy, Peter Chris. And uh, if you don't know what he looks like, that's that. And if you don't know who Peter Chris is, you probably shouldn't be watching this uh, video. Anyway, um, right before you take a white t-shirt stretch it over the board, and then make a big stencil like so. Uh, this is slightly different to the others if you watch the Ace Peter and Paul, in that we have a separate piece for the mouth, which kind of sits on there like that. And there's a reason for that, which will become apparent as we go through the video. Okay, let's begin. Okay, as before, we start with the eye and just draw in the center of the pupil. Then the outline. So, and the other eye. Okay, this is actually a little bit more complicated than the others because there's, there's a lot going on here, especially in the this section and this section and then the nose is quite complicated so first of all um, while we've got the stencil here I'm going to draw that that shape in there which is where the the crease of the nose meets the eye socket and then the same that side so it's kind of that shape's already half there but it's basically that and then the other side it's I've put that line already in there in the stencil and it's basically that okay that's solid. Now, um, there's another crease there, which is kind of that. And then you go the outside of the stencil. Like so. And then the other side, which is kind of similar. But um, there's more black on the left hand edge. More black this side, fade in a bit, and then that kind of shape, and then you've got the reflected light there. Then the nose. More or less solid black. We'll come back and fill that in a while. Now the above the eye, again, this needs a little bit more consideration because we've got a thick black line there, some reflected light in the middle there, and then this is solid black. On the other side. Same again. Now to paint those thin lines there, the thin whisker line, I use a separate piece because obviously if this is going to be red down here, this section, I need just to do that to create that shape. You can see that sort of inverted Y shape. So do that like so. It's a bit hard to hold it. And you've got the entire shape of the whiskers. Like so. And that, that one, that whisker there, you just fill in solid black. Now here, on this side, there's a crease there. So I put a solid line. I'm adding black and then the rest of it solid black. Okay, and then finally that bit. I 
Okay, and you might notice I put the earring or the um, sort of uh, tooth earring there, but sometimes it doesn't quite fit near the, the shirt like I've done here, so I might have to draw that in freehand in a second. But when we take the mouthpiece away, you can see the shape of the mouth. So what I'll continue to do is put the shadow there of the mouth, and then I've got to draw in the centre line where the two lips meet. She's kind of that shape, and then put a shadow, and then add a bit of a shadow area there. I'm going to fill that in with red uh, as we carry on. I just need to do then the final line. Well, I'll put my arms in the way. The final line underneath the chin. And then I'll draw the. I mean, I'll, I'll put a mark there so I know where the. Um, Earring light. Okay, then we do the big reveal. Okay, and when you get to this point, we have the big reveal, which is always exciting. I'm sure you'll agree. Now, um, thanks to the same thing again with the other stencils, the sections where we have to fill in to make it look more realistic. Now, I want to start with the nose there and just fill in a section like this. And then I'm going to draw in the nostrils left and right. Okay, now this is important. The shadow area on the left makes a kind of shape like that. And then there's a, a bit of reflected light on top of the nose. And then there's another reflective shadow from the other side, like that. And then it's kind of squared off again underneath with a darker shadow. So it's kind of a shadow all round, but you've got to be very careful where you put those shadows. And if you darken the nostrils at the top, remembering you're going to put um, brown in those two spaces, because that's not, got, not really got the makeup on, like so. And that's the basis of the nose. Okay, and then I'll follow this, continue, continue that line there, the left hand side of the face. And then I'll come in here, black. And the right hand side of the face, again, you can see there how the face continues. So it's kind of just a case of Carry that line on, then draw in the earring, uh, not ring, it's, um, it's an ear, a dangling on the earring, sort of like that. Let's fill in the negative area behind it, the earring starts to come out then. Like so. As you can see, this is a bit more complicated than the other the other three t-shirts I've got on here, and uh, so this isn't really beginners. This is more of um, an intermediate level t-shirt to do, but it's still very interesting if you're interested in airbrushing. Now, underneath the um, lip, we need a little bit of a shadow, just like that, and then Peter's got that that kind of shape chin, so we add that in, and then drop in some shadow, like so. Okay, then we can do the upper half of the face. Okay. Now, um, we fill that line in there, which is here and here. 